G'day folks, Jay Sini here and welcome to another episode on the Australian Wealth Channel. And today I'm gonna to be revealing my entire $1.7 million investment portfolio. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Really helps to get these videos out to more people. So we're gonna be talking about my entire portfolio. So this is made up of real estate stocks and even some cryptocurrency, which I will be revealing at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with real estate because I think these are some of my biggest holdings. I believe really strongly in real estate and the intrinsic and tangible value that it provides. So depending on who is sharing their investment portfolio, they might choose to leave their primary place of residence out or they might choose to put it in. In my case, I'll be putting it in as we bought this house, not only to live in, as, but as a great investment for capital appreciation. And of course, we also run our businesses out of here as well. So that's where we're gonna be starting. Our primary place of residence that we live in at the moment, based on comparable sales in the area, is worth $1.01 million. So this property was purchased roughly 18 months ago, uh, back when everyone was saying that, you know, the entire housing market was gonna collapse, it was gonna drop about 30%. But as we've seen in the last 18 months, it has gone completely the other way. And we've seen roughly 23% capital growth in this particular area, which is a fantastic return considering the time. So this property we bought with 20% down as we felt it was gonna be a much safer option. Some people opt for 10% so they can get into the housing market faster. We felt for our primary place of residence uh, that it would be much better to put 20% down. So with that 23% gain in 18 months, our cash on cash return so far is roughly 105% once accounting for things like uh, the, the mortgage and the interest from that. So, so far it's been a fantastic return and it's been a great driver in our net worth. We also hold an investment property in Queensland, which is going to be finished getting built this week, which is very exciting. It's in the Redland Bay region in Southeast Queensland, about 30 minutes away from Brisbane. So what we've seen in the last little while is a bump in the land values around Brisbane as well. There's been a lot of investment going into that area and in particular, the Redland Bay region. There's a lot uh, that's gonna be going in there very soon, which is exciting. So we're expecting to see some great growth in that partic particular property. Of course, we haven't been holding this one for very long, so we haven't had much time for capital appreciation. I think conservatively, we'd be looking at 4% uh, capital growth in this particular area area based on the land values. So that would bring the property value to $570,000 based on comparable sales in the area. So even knowing it's been a really short time, that is a cash on cash return of about 30%, which we are really happy with. So a large majority of our investment portfolio is comprised of real estate. Uh, as we believe, especially when you have a net worth of under a million dollars or somewhere around that figure, it's really important to be using real estate and the leverage that that entails uh, because you can grow a lot quicker than you would with stocks. Having said that, it is quite important to be a little bit diversified uh, so that way you're spreading the risk and you know if the, if the housing market does tank, uh, we still have some good assets in stocks which are a great advantage also. So let's have a chat about the stocks that I hold. So I currently hold six stocks in my portfolio, which has a current value of about $80,000 in order from largest to smallest. The biggest position in my stock portfolio is of course, if you follow this channel, The Tattooed Chef. Now I currently have $55,000 sitting in this particular stock um, as it is a very high conviction stock for me. I believe that this is going to five, potentially 10X or somewhere in the middle over the next five years based on their revenue growth and the way that they're building out that brand. It really is fascinating to watch. Uh, so I've put a large position in that particular stock. Doing that is not for everyone. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit more risky to do that, but I have strong conviction and a strong understanding of the business. So we shall see if that plays out. The next stock that I hold is Dropbox and I own $11,000 worth of shares in Dropbox, a fantastic 
company, great business model, very sticky. Once you're in the Dropbox ecosystem, you're very likely going to stay there. Uh, and their revenue is spread incredibly thinly across a number of different people. They have so many different users. It's not like they're getting all of their revenue from one particular company, which is great. Uh, it's of course a growing business, which is very exciting as well. So I think that's gonna continue to grow in the future. On top of that, I have over $5,000 invested in a cybersecurity company called CrowdStrike. Fantastic company that is growing revenues at over 70% year on year, which is huge. So that, that is going to continue, no doubt, as cybersecurity becomes even more important. And CrowdStrike is one of the companies that is at the forefront of that. And that's why I have an investment in them. I might even look at adding to this position as the stock has dropped, as a lot of high growth stocks have sold off recently. So the other positions I have are spec positions. Uh, probably one of the largest of those spec positions is LPI, which is Lithium Power International, which is an Australian company looking at setting up a lithium mine over in Chile. Now, if you know anything about lithium, you'd know that this is an incredible area for mining and is really, really rich in that particular mineral. And uh, I've been following this company for a while and if this happens to get off the ground, um, they've got their roadmap, which is going quite well at the moment. Uh, but if this manages to get off the ground, this is going to be quite a large company. Uh, they're in the process of currently securing offtake agreements. So I'm sure we'll see some more information about that soon. Uh, but this is of course a very spec play. You know, it's pre-revenue. They're not making any money yet. So there is the chance to lose all of the money that I have invested, which is $4,300 at this current point. But of course, if this does work out, then the payoff is going to be a lot bigger as well. I also have a $3,700 investment in CRISPR because I think the space of genomics is going to be an absolutely incredible space and is going to cure so many different diseases. And I'm really excited to be a part of that space going forward into the future. And of course, I have a couple of GoPro shares for when you sign up and get your free stock from Stake. The link is in the description. You're basically getting free money by signing up for the brokerage, which is very exciting. So if you're looking for a brokerage, uh, my referral link is in the description. Uh, so you can go there and get yourself a free stock. It could be a GoPro, it could be Dropbox, or it could be Nike, you never know. So please hit that link if you're interested in investing. Okay, now recently, I purchased a crypto coin. Now, crypto is not a space that I have much to do with at all. Um, I think it's very complicated. I think a lot of people that are investing into cryptocurrencies don't actually know what they're doing. So I've recently added a spec position on a project which I think is really redefining what the internet is and has massive growth potential there. So. The thing about this particular coin is that it's far superior to Bitcoin and Ethereum in a number of different ways. And that includes energy usage and transaction speed. And we're seeing that as these cryptocurrencies are starting to get larger and more widely adopted, that these are two things that are becoming really important. Uh, Bitcoin has an absolutely massive amount of energy usage. So uh, people are looking for alternatives uh, that are gonna be much better for the environment. So the cryptocurrency that I've purchased has a massive team of developers and they've been working on this for quite a long time now. And basically what the project aims to do is completely decentralize the web so that you don't need to be beholden to large tech companies to, to basically sell or post content or anything like that. And this particular coin is called Internet Computer. So I have $3,000 in this particular investment. It allows people to build software and publish content online without big tech, and it creates a much more open internet, which is something that I am a massive advocate for. So this of course is a spec investment as well, and it's a little outside my wheelhouse. So it's not something that I would even closely recommend for anyone, but you know, if you are looking at taking on a bit more risk, there is the potential for some great gains in this particular space. So adding up the value of my investments plus the cash that I have lying around to deploy, uh, my investment portfolio is worth $1.703 million. Of course, I haven't included the mortgages on the properties in this, but you know, it's a great number uh, to have 1.7 and we'll be adding to this uh, very shortly with a new property uh, using the equity from our house. So hopefully that'll be with no money down. So I'll be able to get hold of another asset, asset without spending any money at all, which is great. So if you'd like a video on this, then please 
please let me know. I'd be more than happy to make that video. So please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Make sure you get your free stock down below from Steak and we'll see you later.